Hey guys, we shall take one more problem on continuous time for your series. The problem is determine continuous time for your series of x of t is, uh, it, is <coughs> it is a sum of two periodic signal, one is sin 2 pi t and the other one is cos 3 pi t and t is varying from minus infinity to infinity and uh, also I need to plot its magnitude and phase spectrum. Okay, Solution, so what is the first thing I need to do? I need to actually find its fundamental period capital T. I need to find its capital T and I need to find its frequency, fundamental frequency omega naught. Okay. Once I get this capital T, uh, omega naught equation is actually 2 pi by T. I can plug this T value here and I can find the value of omega naught. Okay. So first we'll, we'll try to get T now. So what is X of T? X of T is sine of 2 pi T plus cos of 3 pi T. You might be knowing uh, actually how to find whether the signal is periodic or not if the signal is periodic how do we find its fundamental period uh, I'm not going to explain in detail but still I will solve the problem okay if we have more than one signal addition of more than one signal I need to find the fundamental period of this signal and I have to find uh, I mean I need to find t1 for this I need to find t2 for this if the ratio of these two are rational then the signal is periodic otherwise signal is non-periodic but in this case obviously signals are periodic because this is a periodic signal and this is a periodic signal the ratio we get actually rational okay but still we will find so we have to find t1 for this so how do we find t1 just equate the coefficient of t with omega 1 omega 1 is actually 2 pi and coefficient of this t is actually omega 2 which is equal to 3 pi and what is omega 1 2 pi by t1 which is equal to 2 pi and what is omega 2 2 pi by t2 which is equal to 3 pi so 2 pi 2 pi cancels out I end up with omega 1 is equal to 1 second and pi pi cancels out I end up uh, sorry I, I end up with t1 1 second I end up with t2 uh, t2 is 2 by 3 second okay so ratio t1 by t2 is equal to what 1 divided by 2 by 3 which is equal to 3 by 2 so it's a rational therefore it's a periodic signal right and how do we check for its uh, fundamental period so its fundamental period t is nothing but lcm of t1 comma t2 right so the fundamental period of the combined signal t is nothing but lcm of lcm of t1 comma t2 and t is equal to lcm of so first signals is 1 and second signal is t2 is 2 by 3 2 by 3 and this is nothing but lcm of 1 comma 2 divided by hcf of 1 comma 3 so why did i write this because lcm of a fraction fraction comma fraction comma dot 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 is nothing but lcm of numerator of the first number numerator of the second number dot 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 divided by hcf of denominator of first number comma denominator of second number dot 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 this is what i did numerator of first number numerator of second number 1 comma 2 denominator of the first number denominator of the second number is 1 by 3 okay so t is equal to lcm of 1 comma 2 is 2 divided by hcf of 1 comma 3 is 1 which is equal to 2 so therefore the fundamental period of this combined signal is 2 second fine and what is omega naught omega naught is what 2 pi by t which is equal to 2 pi by 2 t is 2 so 2 to cancels out it is pi so omega naught is pi radians per second okay okay uh, once we got omega naught now we have to uh, expand that uh, signal in terms of exponential i will do that so what is x of t x of t is equal to what sine of 2 pi t plus cos of 3 pi t right 
So I can write it as x of t is equal to 1 by 2j times e power j 2 pi t minus e power minus j 2 pi t. This is for sine 2 pi t, right? Plus what is cos? It is 1 by 2 times e power j 3 pi t plus e power minus j 3 pi t. Okay, this is for cos 3 pi t. Why? Because e power, uh, sorry, sine theta is what? 1 by 2j times e power j theta minus e power minus j theta. And what is cos theta? It is 1 by 2 times e power j theta plus e power minus j theta. Okay. Now, I'll just slightly modify this. x of t is equal to, I'll, I'll take this 1 by 2j inside, 1 by 2j into e power j 2 pi t. I have written 2 in in a bracket minus 1 by 2j e power j I will take minus to the 2 minus 2 pi t plus 1 by 2 e power j 3 times pi t plus e power 1 by 2 times e power j minus 3 times pi t okay as I explained you in the previous problem what is this this is actually k its value is 2 and what is this x of 2 right and what is this value 1 by 2j and similarly what is this k which is equal to minus 2 and what is this term x of minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 by 2j what is this value k equal to 3 and what is this value x of 3 which is equal to 1 by 2 what is this value k is equal to minus 3 and what is this value x of minus 3 which is equal to 1 by 2 so therefore we have the Fourier series coefficient x of k is at k is equal to 0 I have nothing comma at k is equal to 1 I have nothing which is 0 comma at k is equal to 2 it is 1 by 2j at k is equal to 3 it is 1 by 2 and 0 and dot 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 rest of the samples are 0 so and k is equal to minus 1 I don't have anything so it is 0 k is equal to minus 2 it is minus 1 by 2j and k is equal to minus 3 it is 1 by 2 comma 0 and dot 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 the rest of the samples are 0 ok so we will plot its magnitude and phase angle the magnitude of x of k is equal to at k equal to 0 it is 0 k is equal to 1 it is 0 k is equal to 2 what is the magnitude of 1 by 2j it is 1 by 2 and what is the magnitude of 1 by 2 it is 1 by 2 and 0 dot 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 and similarly this is 0 this is again 1 by 2 this is also 1 by 2 and this is 0 and dot dot so magnitude magnitude of uh, magnitude is usually symmetric ok and what about face angle angle of x of k is 0 comma and since this is real number no face angle but this is complex number it is pi by 2 0 0 0 this is pi by 2 because it is minus 1 by 2 0 0 0 ok so magnitude of x of k is k equal to this is k 1 2 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so it is 0 1 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 at 2 3 at minus 2 minus 3 so this is 1 by 2 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 the so face angle x of k this is minus 2 this is minus 3 this is minus 4 so at 2 it is minus pi by 2 and at minus 2 it is pi by 2 this is k. Okay. 